Hi, I'm Kent Clark, Vice President for University Advancement at Minnesota State University, Mankato. And today, I'm a guest of the Appalachian Academy as we talk about preparing your organization for online donations. In our previous lessons, we've talked about selecting a method of payment processing, and we've talked about the best practices in setting up your online giving page. Next, what we're gonna talk about today is the steps you need to take as you prepare for your live launch of your new online giving site. The first thing you need to do, and I cannot emphasize this enough, test your site. Make sure it works. I guarantee you there is nothing in the world worse than putting all of your energy into getting an online giving site ready and launching it with the processing not working smoothly. I would really encourage you to test it often and multiple times. In fact, here's a suggestion for you. Why don't you reach out to some of your best donors and your nearest supporters, your, your board members maybe, and say, hey, we want you to test our online giving page before it goes. And while you're doing it, why don't you consider making a gift? You're killing two birds with one stone that way. Make sure that you've tested that site completely before you go live. Before you go live with your launch, the other thing to make sure that your site accurately communicates to your donors are clear instructions for what's going to happen when they make a gift online. Make sure that the website walks them through every step that they'll need to take as they make their gift and inform them on the site what's going to happen next. If your online payment processor sends them a receipt automatically, make sure that they know to expect that receipt to their email address. If instead they get a receipt from a third-party processor, make sure that they know that's what's going to happen. In your testing phase, find out how the gift appears on your donor's bank statement. Tell them on the site. Your payment will say that it's processed by so-and-so. Make sure that it's clear to them what's going to happen when they make that gift online and be as transparent as you can with good, clear instructions. The next step as you prepare for your launch is to make sure you train everybody in your organization so that they can respond to donor questions. If something does go wrong, you've got to make sure that everybody in your organization is prepared to help people through the process, walk them through the steps if need be, and to be able to help make this online gift experience a favorable one for your donors. So there you have it, some of the most important things you need to think about as you launch your new online giving website. You've made all of the steps, you've got your payment processor lined up, you've ad adopted the best practices in designing your website, you've trained all of the people that are going to handle this and help you move forward with this strategy. In our next lesson, we'll talk about developing a list of do online donors and email addresses that you can communicate with to drive more online giving traffic to your website. So join us or subscribe at Aplos Academy and see all of these lessons as we go forward. Thanks very much.